It's Weekend Update with Colin Jost and Michael Che. What's up, everyone? Welcome to Weekend Update. I'm Michael Che. And I'm Colin Jost. We have breaking news tonight about Kim Jong-un, uh, <laughs> who actually describes himself as the Harry Styles of North Korea. <laughs> Just hours ago, North Korea attempted a missile launch, but as soon as it took off, it immediately exploded. North Korea claimed the failed launch was actually just a tribute to Donald Trump's first 100 days in office. <laughs> as tensions have mounted between the U.S. and North Korea, Vice President Mike Pence was actually sent to South Korea, even though for Mike Pence, going south is a sin. Meanwhile, Donald Trump spent the weekend on the one peninsula less stable than Korea, Florida. In an interview, President Trump explained that his stance on North Korea changed after meeting with China's president, saying, after listening for 10 minutes, I realized it's not so easy. Which part, the North Korea part or the listening for 10 minutes part? <laughs> also, nothing says I wasn't really listening more than saying, I listened for 10 minutes. You're never gonna hear, I listened for 10 minutes and now I know karate. <laughs> you can't just half listen and politely nod to the president of China like he's asking you to check out his new mixtape. <laughs> this week, our military dropped the mother of all bombs in Afghanistan. The bomb cost $16 million and reportedly took out 94 members of ISIS, which doesn't sound that efficient, but remember, Fox News spent $13 million just to get rid of five women. <laughs> The bomb hit ISIS-K, which is a regional division of ISIS, and coincidentally, Kellogg's least popular breakfast cereal. <laughs> president Trump gave an exclusive interview to Fox Business recounting his meeting with the Chinese president. Let's take a look. I was sitting at the table. We had finished dinner. We're now having dessert. And we had the most beautiful piece of chocolate cake that you've ever seen. First of all, you don't know what cakes I've seen. <laughs> and, and second, maybe you should take it easy on the cake. You already got a butt like an Atlanta stripper. <laughs> but, <laughs> but Trump eventually got back on track and gave us the important specific details. So what happens is I said, we've just launched 59 missiles heading to Iraq. Well, you headed to Syria. Yes, heading toward Syria. <laughs> Are you sure, bro? <laughs> well, that part's kind of important. Trump runs the country like Homer Simpson runs the power plant. We're asking him about missile strikes, and he's thinking, mmm, okay. <laughs> Florida inspectors, health inspectors in Florida, have issued 13 violations against President Trump's Mar-a-Lago resort. But Trump isn't too worried, since he's built up immunities to most diseases from a lifetime of waiters spitting in his food. <laughs> the Secret Service requested a $60 million budget increase on top of the $74 million already set aside for protecting Trump and his family. That's $134 million for protection. Are you getting the more Iron Man suits? No family is in that much danger. I grew up in a New York City apartment in the projects during the crack 80s, and all we had for protection was a pit bull and a praying grandmother. <laughs> and if one of us got hurt, that was just God's plan, baby. <laughs> we just put down some candles on the basketball court and you can move on. Dr. Ben Carson toured a housing complex this week and got stuck in an elevator where he spent 45 minutes trying to dial 911 on the floor buttons. <laughs> Dr. Carson said it was almost as embarrassing as the time he got stuck on this escalator. <laughs> in shocking news this week, United is possibly not a great airline. <laughs> On Thursday, a passenger on one of their flights, somehow this is true, was stung by a scorpion that fell from an overhead bin. And that was the best thing that happened on the United flight this week. 
The way worse story, of course, was that this poor doctor was dragged off an oversold flight to make room for United employees. United, your slogan is literally fly the friendly skies. I can't think of anything less appropriate. That's like if Chipotle's slogan was, you're going to have an easy time on the toilet. <laughs> Though I will say, in fairness, United only promises to be friendly in the skies. On the ground, their slogan is, don't even look at us. <laughs> I'll say, after all this, I will never fly United ever again, unless they have a cheap flight to wherever I'm going, in which case I'll definitely fly United. <laughs>